watching tape on Boise State. Just a great guy, and they're happy to have him. It takes a long time for 8.15 to come around on a college football Friday. Deep ball down the sideline to open things up. And Sean Modster, the redshirt senior, strikes on the big play for Boise State. They want to put the ball in the air. They want to put the ball in the hands of their senior quarterback and already first play of the game deep down the sideline. A terrific throw already. Monster, one big catch. Here comes pressure. Rippin can't get away. And the blitz from George Helmuth brings him to the turf. Boise so far already one aerial assault in the first play of the game. Field goal will be about 51 yards from here and the pass goes incomplete. Penalty, false start, pushes the ball back. The try from 50 is a season long for Hogarth and no good. McMarion needs 11 for the first down and he sinks it in front of Darion Grimm. Before today, definitely was something that got them going. You see it so far to start the football game. Long throw, sideline from Rippin, falls incomplete for Richardson, and there's a flag where the coverage was. This rush down of Fresno State. Already four flags against Fresno State. One slip tackle, Tank Kelly finishes the play. Sideline today as well. Number 16 in blue for Boise State. Monsters back on the field. The receiver on this play gets targeted. He's short of the sticks, and he's brought down by Juju Hughes. So fourth down and about three for Boise State. I'm sure that that ball is kicked before I do anything. This try from 35 for Hogarth, who missed earlier from 50. Gets enough leg into it, and it's true for the 3-0 lead. I was glad to have Louie back in action after he missed the game against BYU last week. Ball comes loose as McMarion goes down. It's another sack for Curtis Weaver, leader in the Mountain West. Christian Kroc, the left tackle, saves the day. The Curtis Weaver, understand that this is a guy, 6'3", 266. He's a big guy, but watch him just shoot the gap. He beats both guys inside, the guard and the tackle, finds his way to the quarterback. Sets up third and 29. Pocket holds up well for McMarion, who's exceptionally mobile. And gets just what he can to the 19-yard line. Got a plan before the play even starts. Madison trying to go through the middle. He gets stood up by the senior, James Bailey. Fresno just trying to get their first, first down of the game. Left side, it's Jordan Mims, their leading rusher, breaking away across the 45-yard line. They've got six different guys they can give it to. He's their lead back. Yeah, the left guard, Logan Hughes, with a nice key block. He seals it. The Broncos send four. McMarion sends it over the top, down the sideline for Johnson. He sidesteps his way back to the 15-yard line. Big hookup from one senior to another. Tedford may well have a mischievous grin on his face. <laughs> well, yeah, see, the play is, look, Marcus McMarion, he sees the safety go. So you know he's got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, but Keyshawn Johnson, it's out of bounds. I saw him running out of bounds, and I'm saying, I didn't see, never stop the play or after the play. Fresno State, no, they got away with one. Pressure comes, Rivers up the middle, finally taken down by Durant Miles at the shoelaces. It's a first and goal for the Bulldogs. McMarion with time to think, time to throw, and back in the end zone, it's Keyshawn Johnson for the Fresno State score. You can only cover for so long. And then at some point, McMarion is going to find a way. That time, he dances in the pocket. And then one of the... Broncos 0 for 3 on third down. Madison charges forward. It takes three defenders to bring him down, led by Mike Bell. One, and he's trying for just his third 100-yard game of the year tonight. This is what I expected, the physical running game. We saw it in last year's. Similar look to the edge. Hard 
pursuit coming from Tank Kelly. The blitz is on, Rippins on the move. First down, Broncos. Instead, it's Madison for another first down. We saw them be aggressive last week. Design rollout passing, complete looking for Richardson. And the fake, Hogarth. He's down short of the sticks, a turnover on downs. With a four point lead, they've rattled off seven straight wins and 17 of their last 20. Long throw across the field finds Darion Grimm. No penalties, they get touchdowns. When you give McMarion that much time, he's going to find somebody. This time it's running back Josh Hokin up the sideline, lower in the shoulder. Yeah, because he realizes that he had the double move and it wasn't there. And he goes all the way back to his third. Second down give for Mims. Sneaks his way through a trio of defenders. <laughs> Three-man rush, all sorts of time. McMarion flushed out, wide open, blue turf in front of him. Down to the 23-yard line. Just a one safety look from Boise State. Rivers has great speed to the outside, but he's angled toward the sideline and great initial pursuit from Keikoa Kekaula Kaniho. No good. Walker. Walker backs off as the Bulldogs bring four. The throw is caught at the 35-yard line by Thomas. That went all the way back around, picked up the first down. Rippin steps up, throws, caught by Richardson. One of the things they thought he didn't do so well last week. Rippin rolls and throws. That's too easy for Monster. <laughs> Quick to the line and a sneak. McMarion's got it. Looking short. Rivers jukes one defender. And he's down to the 22, so the clock will stop momentarily at 10 seconds. The ESPN app. Minute 28 for Boise State. A throw over the top, and that ball is picked off. 22nd takeaway of the year for Fresno State. Juju Hughes is on the move out across the 30-yard line. That time, Brett Ribbon trying to force the ball with pressure. Media timeout. Off. Final media timeout of the half. For each team, 47 to make it a touchdown lead. Asa Fuller ends the first 30 minutes with a three-point try. 10-7, Fresno State. He won it pretty much all season long. And off for Rivers on first down. He doesn't get it up the middle and turns it toward midfield. Keikoa Nawahine, 26 on first down. It's the vision of Rivers. Goes left, job offensive line, caving everything down, finding a crease. McMarion's fastball is somehow snared by Keyshawn Johnson, and he trucks his way, continuing a first down catch and run. Two parts. First of all, it's the catch showing the strong hands, the catch radius of Keyshawn Johnson. But if you don't like the catch, <laughs> you gotta love the finish. Getting, going some physicalness there, Keyshawn Johnson. Against a four-man rush, the throw for Rice, the tight end. Former wide receiver goes up to get it at 6-5. That's what I talked about to end the first half. We hadn't called Jared Rice's name much, only had one catch in the first half. 
And now goes to the football, nearly kissing the goal line. The Bulldog aggression, it's fumbled into the end zone and recovered. Because I thought Rivers had the hands on the, the ball. The previous play is under further review. And we just got to watch. Is that ball touching the goal line? Just the tip of the football. And I think the look that I'm seeing, it doesn't have to be much. But I think that the tip of the football is touching the goal line for a touchdown before it's knocked out. Just from the couple looks that I've seen so far. It's Fresno State. It's happened twice today for Boise, but coming into this game, it had only happened 16 times all year. Rippin, four-year starter, first non-first-year starter this year to face the Fresno State defense, hits Monster, his top option. Fresno has been bringing the pressure. Would have been a fourth and two, instead third and 16. Rip in with a check down for Bates, the tight end. He covers up, and he is real close. Madison's the back, he takes the handoff and plunges to the 30. For a Boise State first down. This second half as Brett Rippin has to get in the air. Play number nine of the drive. Inside the red zone, Richardson. Only behind the nine allowed by Mississippi State, which will certainly be challenged this week given the opponent. And the stretch of the goal line is a touchdown for Madison. Seven point game. There's your answer. The answer is just handing it off to Alexander Madison. And this is just a will and a want to run. He does not want to go down. He keeps those legs moving. He keeps turning. Pressure again forces a bad throw from McMary, and it's rare to see two straight incompletions. Guys over here, you know, pumping the crowd up, jumping around on the bench. It's a much different feeling over here on the Boise side right now. A hurdle and a whole gaggle of defenders to stop Madison. Boise's only touchdown of the night and gets 10. You got to have a little wiggle, too, and that's what Madison has. He's got the wiggle in the hole. Makes Jasad Haynes tackle air, then he gets it to the open field and shows off the athleticism. That's what Alexander Madison, I think he puts this game on his back. That's what I think this half is Madison's be able to find some holes. Rippin looks left and throws that way. Rob Mahone. That's been the guy that's been making the most plays at the wide receiver position today. He's inside the slot. Rippin looks his way, hits him on the slant. First down, Broncos. I go back to number seven, sitting in the slot. They're big again with two tight ends. Rippin forced to run. He goes up the middle to the end zone. And he's short. At the one. The ruling on the field that the runner was short of the goal line. It's first down. The previous play is under further review. And for good measure, it looks like a touchdown. Yeah, it does. It looks like the nose of the football is touching that goal line before the right elbow. I think that's the first thing we want to look at is where is the right elbow. Madison, the running back with Rippin ready to go. Madison's got it. He's in for his second touchdown of the night. The entire left side of the line. Just watch them just cave everybody down. The entire left side of the line. You get a couple pullers out front. And that's easy. That's an easy touchdown for Madison because McMurray is that guy. Mims. And he's stopped by Maeva, the middle linebacker. McMarion on the run, he's not going to make it. Short of the 40 and well. A keep for Rippin, how about that? They're now eight for 13 on third down.
Madison gets the carry out toward midfield. He looks to be weighing down right now just because they're putting the game on his shoulders. The game has been on his back and he's proven it so far. See eight for its last 10 on third down. Four defenders rush, plenty of time for Rippin going deep. He's got a connection and he's got a touchdown. The freshman Khalil Shakir keeps the party going and elevates Boise State to the lead. A 49 yard connection. Go fourth quarter. You get to this point in the season. True freshmen, they grew up, they mature. And just look at Khalil Shakur growing up right in front of our. So McMarion will need to use his accuracy, his team's versatility. Ronnie Rivers, Hollister Elementary, for letting us peek through the yearbooks yesterday <laughs> to find some of those fun class photos from the mid-80s. Up top again, this time a completion out to the 40-yard line. Check down throw for Rivers. He is shifty. First down, Fresno State. Easy pitch and catch. Grimm only had seven catches coming into this game. You don't need it all in one play. It's a four-man rush against McMarion. Airing it into single coverage. He overthrew Grimm, but there's a flag down. On the ninth play of the drive, McMarion goes down. Tyson Maeva, the middle linebacker, sacks him back at the 30. Great call by Andy Avalos. They show six, but they only bring four. And one of those four. McMarion with the game on the line across the middle, incomplete. 10 years. So here it is, third and one. It's a heck of a way to finish a game. 24-17 Boise State.